Hey guys, today's 30 minute practice is a sneak peek at my newly released deep hip and hamstring flexibility series. I know this is a hot topic for many of you, so I want to invite you to check this out inside of my monthly studio membership. You can start your free seven day trial and get access to this series. It's six classes, yin and vinyasa style, and it takes you all the way from the most gentle hip opening to deeper hip opening. So I'll leave the link below so you can find out more information about that when you finish this practice. And let's get started. Hope you enjoy. Hey there, my yogi friend. In next month's series, we're gonna go really deep into hip and hamstring flexibility. So if you're somebody who tends to feel really tense in your hips, Hopefully this is going to open you up a lot more and make some of those more advanced uh, hip opening poses more accessible and just help you to feel a little bit of relief if you're feeling tension here. And also in your lower back because the hips and tightness in the hips and the hamstrings can affect the lower back quite a bit. So if you feel any pain there, this whole series should relieve some of that and just make you feel great in your movement in general. This can also support your spine and give you better posture. So overall, opening up the hips and hamstrings is very beneficial for our entire body. So let's go ahead and get started in today's class. We're gonna go onto our backs and start off in a Supta Baddha Konasana. So come onto your back, bring the soles of your feet together and take your knees out wide. And let's make this nice and gentle to begin with. So you can support your knees with some blocks or pillows. You can bring your hands, either one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart, or let your arms come out to your side. And let's take a big breath in to begin. And a big breath out. And take a moment here to tune into your body. And bring your awareness to your hip area. See if you can notice how you're feeling there, where you might be feeling tension, or if some areas are already feeling nice and loose. And this could change from day to day. Stress is one of the biggest factors in feeling tension, especially in our hips. So if you've been stressed lately, you might be feeling a little bit tight in that area. And gradually bring your awareness to your breath in and out of your nose. Let it be natural and smooth. And let's go ahead and take two more deep breaths here. allowing each breath to take you deeper into this present moment and into your body. And whenever you're ready, gently remove the blocks or whatever props you're using. Draw your knees into your chest, give them a little squeeze. And begin to draw a few circles, taking your knees out to the side in opposite directions. You can start off with making those circles small and gradually let them become a little bit larger. Inhale as you draw your knees into your chest and exhale as you take them out to your side. And go ahead and change directions.
And then slowly come to stillness and take your knees out as wide as you can. Let your feet float wherever they want to float naturally. And then with your hands on your knees, begin to wiggle your hips. So taking your knees back and forth. Just finding a gentle motion through the pelvic area. And getting into any spots that might feel extra tight. And slowly come to stillness. Draw your knees back into your chest. Release your feet down to the mat. Keep your feet hips width apart. We'll take a few pelvic tilts. So take your arms out to your side. Draw your belly button in. Tilt your tailbone towards your pubic bone, pressing your lower back into the mat. On your exhale, release. Let the natural curve of your spine come back. We'll move through a few of these, going at your own pace. Inhaling as you draw your belly button in and press your lower back down into the mat. Exhaling as you release. So it's a very subtle movement through your pelvic area. We're not trying to lift the hips up off the mat. Go ahead and take one or two more. And the next time you have your belly button drawn in and your lower back pressing into the mat, press down into your heels, lift your hips up slightly, and then slide a block underneath your hips. You can start off at the lowest height. From here, extend your left leg in front of you, draw your right knee into your chest. Big breath in and breath out. And take a few circles with your ankle. And go ahead and change directions. And then point and flex. And come to stillness. Draw your left knee into your chest. Extend your right leg long. Take a few of those ankle circles with your left foot. And go ahead and change directions. And then point and flex the foot a few times. And continue to breathe. Come to stillness, draw your right knee into your chest and release your feet down to the mat. Press down to lift your hips up and remove your block off to the side. Lower your hips back down to the mat. Take your arms out to a T. Extend your legs up towards the ceiling. Keep your feet hips width apart. Flex your ankles and flex the ball of your foot, flexing your toes. You can keep your knees slightly bent. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out and begin to bend and extend the legs, keeping your ankles and toes flexed. You don't have to bend too deeply. Just make it a repetitive motion, warming up the hamstrings and the quads, getting into the knee joint. And continue to breathe. And let's take it for three, two, one. Extend both legs back up towards the ceiling. Release your left foot down. You can keep that knee bent and then reach for your strap and loop it around your right foot. Extend that leg back up towards the ceiling. Walk your hands down that strap. You can walk your elbows in close towards your chest. Keep your toes flexed towards your face. 
And then we'll begin to pulse that leg for five, four, three, two, one. Send that leg in closer towards your chest. We'll hold for a few breaths here. For a little more intensity, you might extend your left leg long in front of you. Let's take one more breath here. And take the strap into your right hand. Take your left arm out to the side and let your leg fall out to the side. And we'll do another pulsing here. So five, four, three, two, one. Release that leg, we'll hold for a little bit longer. Gently bring your leg back up to center. You can bend the knee slightly if you need to. Take the strap into your left hand. Right arm comes out to your side and let your leg fall across your body to the left this time. We'll hold for a few breaths. And slowly let your leg come back up to center. Bend that knee, remove your strap. Release your foot down to the mat, keeping your knee bent. And then loop the strap around your left foot. Extend that leg up towards the ceiling, walking your hands down the strap. Flex your ankle and your toes. And we'll pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Draw that leg in closer towards your chest. We'll hold for a few breaths. If you'd like, you can extend your right leg long in front of you. And continue to breathe. Gently take both sides of the strap into your left hand. Let your right arm fall out to the side and your leg come out to your left. We'll pulse for another five, four, three, two, one. We'll hold for a few breaths. Try to keep your right sits bone rooted into the mat. Gently take that leg back to center, bending your knee if you need to. Remove your strap, release your foot down, and you can release the strap off to the side. Draw your knees into your chest once again, and then cross your ankles. Make your way up into a seat. If you need to, you can roll over onto your side to get there. Coming into a nice cross-legged seat from here, bring your hands to your knees. Sit up nice and tall. Begin to draw a few circles with your chest. Inhaling as you take your chest forward. Exhaling as you round your back. And going at your own pace, using your breath to guide your movement. Go ahead and change directions.
And slowly come to stillness, bring your spine upright. Begin to walk your hands forward, coming onto your fingertips. Lower your forehead down towards the mat, getting a nice stretch through your glute and outer hip. Two breaths here. Slowly begin to walk your hands back in towards your legs. And then switch the cross of your legs. So this time the leg that was closest to you will come in front. And once again, crawl your fingers forward. Getting a stretch through the other side. Release your forehead and your neck. And breathe. And slowly crawl your fingers back, bringing yourself back into an upright position. Take your hands behind you, uncross your legs, take your feet out as wide as the mat. Coming onto the soles of your feet with your knees bent, begin to windshield wiper your legs from side to side. And the next time your knees are over to the right, add a twist, extend your left arm out in front of you. Inhale, circle your arm up and back, coming through center, and let your knees fall over to the left. Continue that motion with a twist. Extend your right arm in front. Inhale, circle up and back, and come through center. We'll continue with these a little bit more fluidly. Moving at your own pace with your breath. And then slowly let this motion take you to the top of your mat. Coming back to center. If it's available to you, bring your hands in front. Continue the motion with your knees, moving from side to side. If you need to, you can always keep your arms behind you, supporting you. And then allow this windshield wiper motion to take you into a Malasana Yogi squat. And once again, if you need to, you can use your hands to get there. Turn your feet out about 45 degrees, knees out wide, elbows to the inside of your thighs, hands together in front of your heart. And if this feels too intense for you, you can always raise your hips a little bit higher and sit on top of a block. Keep your chest lifted. Take a breath or two here. Begin to notice any difference in your hips from the beginning of this class. And gently release your hands down in front of you. Inhale, take your hips up towards the ceiling. Begin to straighten your legs. Toe heel your feet to hips width apart. Folding over your legs. Bend your knees as much as you need to so that your chest can reach your thighs. And then lift your heels. Relaxing through your pelvic area. Keeping your chest connected to your thighs. Begin to release your heels down. Keep your knees as bent as you need to keep your chest connecting with your thighs. On your next inhale, come into a halfway lift, flat back, hands to the floor or your shins. Keep a nice flat back, so if your back is rounding, bring your hands a little bit higher. Extend through the crown of your head. Exhale, fold forward. Root into all four corners of your feet. Inhale, come up with a flat back to Tadasana, mountain pose, arms reaching above you. Interlace your hands, except for your index fingers, stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, side bend to your right. Keep your left foot rooted into the mat and draw your left shoulder back. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, side bend to your left. Root down through your right foot. Draw your right shoulder back. 
Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, soften your knees, fold forward. Inhale to your halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, root into your right foot, and step your left leg back, runner's lunge. You can bring your hands to a pair of blocks if you need to, or come onto your fingertips and begin to roll back and forth on the ball of your foot. Continue to breathe. Take your right hand to the inside of your right foot, toe heel that foot out to the outer edge of your mat, coming into your lizard lunge. And either stay here or come onto the outer edge of your right foot, opening your knee out to the side. Flex your toes to protect that knee. And then begin to pulse the knee out and in. The next time you're back on the sole of that foot, release your left knee down, untuck your toes, and wherever you are, make sure that your right foot comes in the center of your mat, coming onto your fingertips once again, and then come onto the outer edge of that foot, letting your knee fall out to your side. Flex your toes to protect that knee, and then begin to walk your hands off of your mat, staying on your fingertips or releasing onto your palms if that feels accessible. So sort of a pigeon variation here. Not quite coming into a full pigeon. And just notice if you can go a little bit further or if you need to back off a little bit. Pay close attention to the sensation you feel in your hip area. And relax your shoulders and your face and your jaw. And take one more breath here. And slowly walk your hands back onto your mat. Come back onto the sole of your foot. Untuck your back toes. Step your left foot up to meet your right forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Step your right leg back, runner's lunge. Hands to the floor or a pair of blocks and begin to roll back and forth on the ball of the foot. And slowly come to stillness. Bring your left hand to the inside of your front foot, coming into lizard lunge. Toe heel that foot out to the edge of your mat. And then either stay here or begin to open and close that knee out, coming onto the outer edge of the foot and releasing the sole of your foot back down. Once again, make sure to flex your toes to protect that knee. And come back onto the sole of that foot. Release your back knee down to the mat. Toe heel your left foot towards the center of your mat. Coming onto the outer edge of that foot, take your knee out to the side. Coming onto your fingertips, walk your hands out to the side. And stay or release onto your palms. Maybe take a moment here just to sway back and forth. Continue to breathe. And see if you notice any difference on this side. So maybe you can go a little bit deeper or you need to back off a little bit more on this side. Take one more breath here. Slowly walk your hands back onto your mat, lower onto the sole of your foot, and step your right leg up to meet your left, coming into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Root down, inhale, rise up, mountain pose, arms reach above you. 
Exhale, hands together in front of your heart. From here, take a big step with your left foot out into a wide-legged stance. Inhale, your arms above you. Exhale, fold forward. Release your hands down underneath your face or walk your hands in between your legs, fingertips pointing away from your face. Distribute the weight evenly in your feet. Draw your chest towards your thighs. Release your neck. You can shake your head, yes or no. And slowly walk your hands back out in front of you, coming into a flat back. Toe heel your feet together. Ground down. Inhale, rise up into Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, hands together in front of your heart. On your inhale, lift your heels. Begin to lower down, coming into a seat on top of your heels as slowly as you can. If this doesn't work for you, you can simply make your way down in any way that does. Open your knees out wide and then crawl your hands forward, releasing your chest and forehead down towards the floor. And slowly walk your hands back in, come all the way down into a seat, bringing the soles of your feet together and your knees out wide. Adjust your hips as needed. Bring your hands to your ankles. Sit up nice and tall and begin to butterfly your legs. Slowly come to stillness. Pick up your right foot and bring it into your hands or if it's accessible to you, into your left elbow. Wrap your right arm around your right knee and then begin to cradle that leg, just moving through the hip. Continue to breathe. Give your hips a little bit of extra love here. And slowly come to stillness, release that foot back down, pick up your left foot, bringing it into your hands or into your elbow if that's accessible to you. Wrap your left arm around your knee and begin to cradle that leg. And gently release that leg back down. And we'll set up for our final resting pose, Shavasana. Extend your legs out in front of you. Lower down slowly onto your back, vertebrae by vertebrae. Make yourself as comfortable as you need to here. Extend your arms by your side, palms pointing up. And take a moment to notice the difference in your hips and hamstrings from the beginning of this class. And let yourself melt into the mat and enjoy this little moment of rest.
Feel free to stay here longer if you'd like. If you're ready to close this practice, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And slowly roll over onto your right side, curl up into a fetal position. And gently make your way up into a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. And we'll close this practice with a big breath together. Inhale. Exhale it out. Bring your hands to your third eye center, bringing gratitude to this practice. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's practice. And once again, I'd like to invite you to check out the full series inside my monthly online studio membership. You can start a seven day free trial and get access to these classes. There's six classes, yin and vinyasa style, and they'll take you all the way from gentle hip opening to the most deepest hip opening. So check out the link below and I hope to see you on your mat again soon.